Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. For the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 1st to the 7th of March 2021. So I'm going to choose the first card because these cards are a little bit chunky. So let's see what we have. What do we have for Scorpio please for the week? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Scorpios, thank you. 1st to the 7th of March, 2021. Okay. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. <laughs> I've got the world. A brilliant success. A time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment. Freedom to do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself. Wow. The world is a card of success, achievement, accomplishment. It's also a card of completion, being ready to step into a new phase. Um, okay, what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios for the week, 1st to the 7th. So I have storm warning and appreciation. I like the way that these energies are just synchronizing so well. I definitely feel like you have been dealing with this. Um, a storm, even a tower moment for some of you. This is look how far you've come. And I definitely get in this energy, something is completing accomplishment, victory, success is nigh. And it feels over this. Okay. So what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. 1st to the 7th of March, 2021. I like the energy, you know, peaceful resolution, finding peace, peace of mind, um, agreements, um, exchanges, resolving conflict, that kind of energy. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards, Scorpio, and then we will clarify and go deeper into the message as we always do and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you okay message for scorpio please angels spirits guides message for scorpio thank you yeah we have the hanging man The tower, I knew that energy would be there, you know, it's it's kind of, the tower is, all, is a realignment energy for me as a reader. And we have the hermit. Okay, let's clarify the cards on the table for Scorpio, please. Message for Scorpio. Message for Scorpio, please. Yeah, we have two of swords with the five of wands with the hanging man. The tower, Scorpio, we have the seven of wands. And the Hermit, Six of Coins. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. Okay, Scorpio, so we have the world, which is completion. It can be a card of success, a major completion. It can be about goals something that you set your sights on, some kind of goal achievement. I definitely feel in this energy. It 
there will be a reason to be thankful. I'm definitely getting this energy of, of thank, uh, giving thanks, appreciation. And you see she's holding the flower, the flower that's blooming. And it feels like with regard to some kind of storm, I mean, this could be the pandemic. This could be whatever area of your life, you know. It, along with the tower, it definitely feels for some of you, you're going through some period of challenge here. And there's a recognition of that. But peace will be restored. And that's what you're being told here, Scorpio. Things haven't quite aligned. There could have been some delays here. And it, it can be something that you've been either competing for or struggling. You know, I mean, this can be a card of struggle or competing for something, you know, with the five of wands and not having the clarity of how things are going to pan out. And you don't with the hanged man all the time. This can sometimes be all of a sudden something becoming clear. All of a sudden, that is the way forward. Moments of enlightenment. Um... But it definitely feels for some of you, it definitely feels for some of you there have been some delays. It feels like delays, feeling stuck in limbo. And when do we feel stuck in limbo? Well, the hanged man can be when it can be to do with job changes or job losses, uh, business losses, career losses. It can be to do with relationship changes. It can be to do with illness, health. Um, even our property, you know, it feeling in periods of limbo. So it, it feels in this situation you've either been competing for something and you don't have the clarity of how something is going to pan out. You might well be also dealing with, uh, it's either competing, both of these cards are competition en energies, or it can be struggle. But the message is you're going to be victorious. The message is that you're going to get there is going to be completion. For some of you, it feels like this week, you know, because it's definitely something that you're challenged with, but the message is keep going. You are getting on top of that which challenges you or getting ahead in terms of competition. And the tower moment is a card of alignment, like I said, from the universe, realigning you to the path that you need to be on. We go through many towers in our lives. We, you know, build towers, tear them down. It's part of evolution. But it's also, um, this lightning strikes the tower. The tower comes crumbling down because it wasn't built to stand the test of time. It was time for this tower to come down. It can be linked with truth, revelation. It can also be linked with grappling with some kind of storm energy, you know, that you've been dealing with some kind of challenge so let's clarify this tower what is this tower for scorpio what is this tower for scorpio please thank you okay so it feels more to do with money and career here i have to say because the ten of coins can be to do with financial stability security and this is a card of instability big instability in terms of finances, money, career. Um, can also be family committed relationships, but with this card here, I'm definitely, I'm definitely getting the energy of, I'm definitely getting the energy of money, career, finances here, Scorpio. So you might have been putting all your energy to deal with this situation and almost feeling that you're not progressing, you're not seeing the way forward, there's no clarity of an end in sight. And yet the message is, even though you don't see it, it's coming. The end is coming and it's going to be successful. You're going to get the goal that you need. I feel that there has been some financial or career upheaval, change, an event, life-changing event that has happened in terms of your money finances career. And the message is keep going, persevere, keep going, because whether you know it or not, you're on higher ground than those which that which opposes you, whether it's to do with grappling with a situation, whether it's to do with competing for a job or being pitted against other people, whether it's just to do with, you know, dealing with the situation itself, it feels you are getting on top of it, you know, so the message is keep going, you will bring this turning point to your life. Yeah, the Hermit is a card of 
introspection, raising your energy from within, healing. Um, for some of you, the hermit can be to do with illumination from within. So where you've been waiting for the answers, and I'm seeing that with the hanged man, where you've been waiting for the clarity that you needed, this feels like some kind of inner clarity in how you need to move forward. You might, this is a card of enli enlightenment, illumination, finding answers from within, through introspection, in order in how you take action in your external environment. But it's a card of something that raises your energy from within. So it definitely feels for some of you, you've been through some kind of trying time. And it's almost kind of like you're being given some illumination from within on how you need to move forward now. This could involve some kind of choice or decision. The two of wands can also be about choosing between two paths, two opportunities. Um, it's a card of progress, the beginnings of progress. Uh, some kind of choice about your future here as well. But I like this gate opening. You know, it's almost kind of like things are beginning to open up for you. There is progress in a situation. Yeah, so for some of you, that this could be going within and making some kind of clear choices in how you are being aligned to move forward. Sometimes this is about there are two paths, choose wisely. Um... But nevertheless, if you're choosing from the inner enlightenment answers from within, you won't go wrong. And the six of, six of coins or six of pentacles, Taurus, it's a message of it's your time to receive. If you felt financial lack and there is some choice or opportunity being presented to you here, or two opportunities, two paths, um... It feels for some of you there will be the beginnings of progress. It's your time to receive from the universe. This is the universe rewarding you karmically. Uh, law of attraction energy for the effort and energy you've been putting into something. So what you put into something, you'll get back. I'm also thinking somebody might be giving you some kind of answer this week. You might be, I mean, whether, if there's been conversations or communication ongoing here, um, I mean, it could be to do with jobs, business, career, elements associated with that. You might be getting some kind of answer, some clear answer, and it feels like it's your time to receive. So it feels like someone reaching out, giving you some positive answer this week. That is the beginnings of progress, a new door opening. Remember, the two of wands can be a choice. It can also be the beginnings of progress. It's not always between two areas. So for some of you, it might well be two paths, but it might also be the beginnings of progress. Um, getting some kind of answer back that's opening some kind of door. Some kind of peaceful resolution. Bringing peace to what has been a stormy time. So I definitely see this as the rainbow after the rain, you know, it definitely feels this kind of energy of peace is restored, the challenging time is going to be over. And there will be you know, things beginning to grow again, things beginning to bloom, there will be reasons to be thankful. I'm definitely getting this energy of you'll be finding some kind of answer. It feels quite beautiful that. I'm going to clarify this two of wands. Let's clarify this two of wands, please, for Scorpio. Because I, I feel it's the beginnings of progress. And that's what I'm getting the most. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Thank you. Two cards. <laughs> oh, what did I say? Good news. Good news with regard to an opportunity, the beginnings of progress, there's real potential. And this is you, Scorpio, the King of Cups. So the cards can't be more clear. Uh, yeah, I, I feel someone's going to be giving you an answer, some feedback, some good news, a conversation. You know, there's a kind of exchange energy here going on. But I definitely feel for some of you, you're getting the answer that you need. The answer is bringing some peace. 
to your situation and it's in the form of some positive news coming your way i love the energy so and remember the pages messengers but they're also the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change so i love it's definitely tying in with this open door energy the beginnings of progress that i saw in this situation i'm going to pull you a final card final message please for scorpio Mm. We have moon energy. Surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. Peace of mind. You're getting this peace energy. Something is coming through here, Scorpio, that is giving you some kind of peace. I'm getting, I'm getting the answer that you wanted. I'm definitely getting the answer that you want. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.